for letting us play this lovely game. We are in BC Place in Vancouver. Japan and Chile going to get us running off here. Gareth Reese here in Vancouver, joined by Madison Hughes. And Madison, you are watching your former team, the Eagles, up against Ireland. And it went really late, way past 9.30 in the evening before that one was. Here is the countdown for kickoff. HSBC Canada 7 is underway for day three. Japan in the white jerseys kicking high. Hangs up. Bobbled by the Chileans. And right off the bat, Japan got their hands on it. Through Tananaka. They go wide. Good step from Noguchi. Really well organized the Japanese attack. Just have a little bit of trouble. The line break percentage is pretty low for the amount of possession they have, and that's one of their issues. Oh, the show and go. Gets him the half break, and he's all the way through. Moeki Fukishi gets Japan on the board. There's the line break for Japan. Yeah, so often side to side, great endeavor, but don't really go forward very well. Fukushi exploits the line and gets Japan a crucial first try here. They need to continuously pick up points. Still at 16th on the world standing. Will be really important for Japan. Extras are good. So Fukushi's second try of the weekend in Vancouver. Yeah, the Chileans have been in Canada before in the truncated version of the HSBC World Series. They got wins against Mexico and Japan, but this weekend has been a, a step up from that kind of competition. And as the invitational side, sometimes it is the fatigue that sets in on day two. Number back-to-back -back tournaments, they were all in Los Angeles, the LA Sevens, last weekend. So this is when the bodies really feel it, even though we've been in the same time zone. To see a few more mistakes creeping into the game as we saw late last night with that Ireland US game at times. Great one handed pickup. Well, that's confidence. Scampering on the ball is Fukushi. He's going to get his second here, but just had enough, picked it up with one hand and bolted 60 meters to get it done. Oh, such fantastic skill there from Fukushi at pretty much full sprint, picking the ball up one handed, sliding through a gap. And Fukushi, a great moment of individual brilliance here. Japan going sideways a little bit, initiate contact. The ball just squirts out Fukushi, just stops briefly, picks the ball up and gets on his way. That's a great bit of individual skill, has the pace to finish it off as well. And extending this lead for Japan, they haven't been incredibly fluid so far, but when they've had their opportunities, when there have been gaps in the Chilean defense. So Japan leaning on that experience of being a core team. Strabucci out wide. It's the left hand out, but a great job on defense, taking the ankles away. And the knock on. Two knocks. Two of them, but that will bring the half to an end regardless. Half time, <laughs> half time here, Japan up 14 points to nil over the Condors from Chile. Yeah, yes, they're very lively environment. Oh, it's a very creative. I think he needs to find something to hold the sign up by himself so he doesn't have to leave his hands there all day. But I guess for 15 minutes, he can do it for Japan. He'll be happy with the start here. Japan up 14 nil. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was something that you were Crocs. taught to do if the player was really in there. Yeah. Get on there and kind of roll Point. away um, and just moving away from that. And particularly when you're on that Set. neck, it's really quite a dangerous place. So well, you've been around as long that. as I have. A lot of things we used to do as best practice are now illegal. And there are laws in to deal with them. This is a good opportunity for Japan in full fight. Yeah, and they've taken it right around the outside. Fresh off the bench, it is Taiga Ishida. Nice moment for him. Moving it into space from this scrum, and it's tough for Chile. They've got to commit defenders there, so when Japan move it wide to their backs, simple overload. Ishida using his power, using his speed and footwork to get around the outside and go in for Japan's third try to stretch what should be a good advantage for them as they look towards the end of this match, 19-0 with the conversion to come. Just push to the left of the post. Sit. Last play of the game, barring a penalty. Japan, oh, they're going to have a rest. They've done their work here. And they've got their first win of the weekend. Well done to the Brave Blossoms. They have defeated Chile here, 19 points to nil.